out today. Showed up today. It was definitely unexpected. No, it was unexpected. And to be honest, though, compared to Xeno, this is definitely like a usually a smaller. I, I'll say talent pool mostly just out of sheer attendance. Like Xeno gets a lot of attendance. It's just how it yeah. goes. So you just within that you get like more people that are like possible to win the tournament. So I think Bars is one of those players who's like really good. But kind of has a thing where he plays a lot of the like really good PR New York people on a regular basis. Yeah, so it's so it's like, hard to really test yourself when you're playing the same people all the time. Yeah, I mean, it does help at the very least playing against those better players because you at least know how to play against their characters at that level. Sure. Yeah, like whoever they're playing. But at. like if you want to go in and you just want to like look for raw placement, play against the different players and see what your yeah. crowd does. <laughs> but like you know, it, it's it's DNA is good for that right now. Yeah. Although, to his luck, Sinji's here today, wow, okay. which is, oh, that's, oh, wow, that scared that's, me. Exposed Light just kind of dissipated there against the stage. I might, oh. oh, that's not going to work. Oh, wow, you went pretty far on that. Yeah. Oh, um, but he got limits. Does so have he's limit. Gonna, wow, oh, my he just God. barely missed the ledge. He thought he was safe. He thought he was yeah, safe. Yeah, he honestly just barely missed the ledge and just went right past it. Overshot yeah, the lingering hitbox that up smash. Going to do the trick. Uh, Fruit's still very much in kill percent here for Cloud. Um, yeah. Possibly like, a back air. Back air by ledge, possibly. Up air during certain, after certain heights. Don't go out there, man. Oh, God, that was scary. I got scared bit. for a second. I thought he wasn't going to make it. Same. Like, seeing characters like that try and, like, go low and then come back. Oh, wow. Nice smash four up air. Out <laughs> of disadvantage, and then it still hit. So let's yeah, go. Yeah, and he bought him the space he needed. Now he's got... We had stage control for a second. I might, oh, okay. I was about to say. I thought that killed for Yeah, if she had like a little bit more rage, that probably would have been it. Up B. Yeah, there we go. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, you're supposed to limit cross slash, Just uh, in case. cross slash, and then up B. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say that's going to catch it. Looks like Fruit was looking for like a, like a, like, yeah, uh, ledge cancel. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Still made it back. This is where playing Cloud gets a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, because now every move that hits you, it's like. If you want to even survive, if you even manage to, you're going to have to air dodge. And it's like, oh, now they're chasing you, and you don't have air dodge. And it's like, all right, I got to hope I can swing, or they just miss. So I'm pretty sure I've seen this matchup a long time ago being really terrible for Cloud. I think it was, I think it was like Gons when he was playing Palutena, playing Hungry's Cloud. Yeah, I remember that. He, he was literally every time just running off and just and, and using auto reticle, and it would give Cloud every time. Yeah, I mean, auto reticle is a very good move, man. <laughs> and like, like against certain characters, that just, like, that's like that just adds a whole extra layer of something to be worried about. Like she's not gonna plummet. Like she could do auto reticle off stage. She's got plenty of recovery tool. Like like there. So I think if she does that off stage against Cloud recovering, Cloud's basically f Yeah, but right now Fruit's got kind of a big lead. You don't want to be trading with someone like Cloud because he still hits hard. Yeah, he does. There's there's a lot of things, especially with limit. That can kill a little earlier than you might think. Uh, that ledge. not being one of them. Yeah, it was. That's more of like a get off me or get off like the ledge type tool. Or yeah, pull, catch someone off guard. You're about to lose limit. Got to fire it. Yeah, yeah, it's like all right, I got to do something. Oh, very wow, good. You hop into F, so very very smart. Mm -hmm. That's a bars just like that right back in it. Yeah, Cloud can still kind of like he still has his juggle scenarios. He just he just can't falling up air it whenever he wants in neutral. I mean. Earth playing pretty well this game, uh, and Bars, really great job getting back in the game because he was down by a pretty decent deficit here yeah. initially. Okay, 20% difference pretty much. Not really, but you know what I mean. Pretty much. Okay, now you got a limit. Yeah, so you can either save it or get a ton of damage and then like try and kill with it. Never mind. I uh, gotta gotta expend it right there. Just get back to stage safely. Kind of weighing his options here, figuring out what he's gonna do next. Does get back center stage at the very least. I do think he needs to air dodge a little bit more to ledge, assuming Fruit's not gonna like down tilt because that will catch. But at the very least, you at least uh, save uh, what's it called. Your double, maybe your double stand up. So, right there, the, oh, wow. th that's also like a that. part of this matchup that seems really unpleasant for Cloud. Just Palutena runoff. Nair. Yeah, Palutena runoff Nair is kind of just like the bane of bad recovery existence. Just not much you could do about it. Yeah, like, some characters just literally have to get hit and just hope they mess up the next time if they survive. Yeah, or hope your up B is good enough to challenge it in some way, but in Cloud's case, definitely not. Um, I'm going to expect probably Bars to stick. Assuming he's still kind of learning this character a bit. I think if he is going to stay Cloud, he should probably go to like. Maybe FD or PS2 or Town. 
because platforms do benefit him a lot with sharking with his because his, uh, his like hitboxes are still good like he still has a massive sword he has massive like he has good frame data at the very least uh pretty good anti airs with up tilt and down tilt still kind of crosses up i think in this game i'm not sure if it does yeah it did down tilt i think so yeah yeah i think it does it does So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna assume he's gonna say the same because he did, he wasn't playing poorly, just Paladin and stuff. Yeah, he was bringing it back towards like the uh, later end of that match. He kind of got through to like mid percent, and it was still doable at that point, especially since he just got well, limited at that it point. It looks like but we are gonna character switch. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame him. Yeah, if you're not proficient with recovering, and, or if you're like even hesitant, you might just lose a stock. Well, just, yeah, even just being comfortable against all the things we are just talking about, Palutena, like, it just didn't really seem comfortable. And understandably so. There's a lot of tools she has to basically... Uh, you air dodge the auto radical yeah. or explosive flame, she's going to run off yeah. there. You you're, cover you're, high, she's probably going to cover with back air or up airs or whatever. It's nothing crazy, nothing impossible to get around, but it's just still scary, the thought process. It's a lot of extra like, work. Yeah. A lot of extra work. And it's like, okay, I finally land in, and sometimes she might force you to air dodge right into her arms, and she gets a back throw, and you're like, okay, I'm back in square one. All right, so here we go. We got Dark Pit coming out. Mm -hmm. This is a good old reliable, I would imagine, for bars. Bars and playing Pit for a very long time, back through Smash 4 and through the beginning of Ultimate. And right now. And at the very least, I would imagine this is a lot better for Bars just by sheer fact. You know, you're, you're not going to get gimped like he was Cloud, so. Yeah. Cloud does have the better kill power and better frame did I want to say. But there's only so much Cloud can do when he's off stage, And then it's like, oh, well, all my tools are gone. And I have to resort to hoping I don't get gimped right now. Yep, yeah, they do. That, that, that That's always the worst. Yeah, you got to be heads up for that, man. Whenever you see, like, controls getting changed, good chance of swapping. But, yeah, Bar's off to a much better start this game, too, yeah. than it was game one. The character switch, are you doing? Uh, are you much? doing wonders? Yes. He's got a pretty good lead. And, okay, very nice. Very nice call out. Not much power can do. Most power, most powers want to like back air off the ledge, and since crew was facing forward, not much. Wow, that was very a, nice snipe. That was that was, that a was, that was right pretty there. good. Yeah, turned was, around was like psych. Just for the that pro, that wasn't necessary, but still, it looked. I did not realize that arrow could kill, and that I guess that's why some game. people really enjoy dark pit over regular pit. Yeah, that's one of the main deciding factors. Do you want to try and gimp someone, or do you want to literally kill them? Gimp and yeah. It does both. Uh, no, Rivers is not here. He does not support locals. I'm <laughs> kidding. Yes, he does. Definitely not North Jersey locals. Yeah, it's yeah, too yeah. far out of the way for most of them. And traffic here is not fun for them to get to. Yeah, you'll, you'll catch him at the uh, PSS, or I'm sorry, PS Weekly, PSW uh, streams coming quite soon. He's pretty much at all of those. Oh, oh. Bar is comfortably. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I don't think that was on purpose. I think he was hoping that would He connect. definitely anticipated Dark Pit to go a little bit farther, but he kind of just slid on the ground, and Palo was just like, all right, well, my jab's here, and then you walked into it. Fruit having the right idea there, kind of getting Bar's in a weird place wow. on the ledge, and he's going to end up falling up what with the back. Was he at? Uh, I think he was over 100. Not that much over, but. Okay, because I, I saw his, like, I could have sworn his percentage was a lot lower than Bacchus should have been killing. Wow, so, wow that's that why was... he's been going for it. I did not know a two-frame like that. Yeah, that totally works, huh? I did not know that two-framed either, but it looked like he'd been going for that earlier, so he yeah, finally lands it. it. <laughs> I saw it, and I was just like, I guess the two-frames, but I don't know how reliable it is, but hey. It looked pretty the reliable so. there. Uh, caught Palutena very, very uh, convincingly. Yep, and because she's a teleport character, it's like, all right, you have that extra two frames, as far as I know, by Smash 4 yep. logic. Extra two frames, uh, two frames, well, four frames on in this case. Very nice. Okay. okay. Now he's doing much better in this match. He just looks a lot more comfortable. Yeah. I don't blame him. This is his main. He's doing a really good job calling out fruits options, pretty much anything she's doing. He's very prepared now with that, with that two frame uh, down smash. Yeah, this is looking pretty rough for Fruit right now. I think dash attack kills too. I'm not sure. Hit dash attack, it can. <laughs> wow, good sniped. Yeah, good snipe. Basically, just to uh, save himself off stage there, because it looked like Fruit was getting ready to run off Nair or something. 
as Bars continues to accumulate oh. damage on Fruit. Fruit coming up with an up air. You're going to interrupt the uh, That was a little bit attack. too risky coming from Fruit's end. If that even remotely touched you, you were obviously gone. Yeah, for sure. Is that going to kill? Yeah, that's definitely going to kill. Huh. I did not know that killed. I mean, it looked like a little bit of bad DI, too. I, didn't, I don't think Fruit knew where to DI or how to DI the move. It does send you, like, pretty abruptly outward. Yeah, like, it definitely looked like Fruit was not ready for that. Like, she definitely did not know. Yeah, so I think we're going to get another look at that down tilt over here. That's exactly what we're going to see. There we go. And it looks like, uh, it almost looked like uh, Palatine hit against a stage, I think. It looked like the down tilt. I, I couldn't tell. The, the like down smash. The down, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, the down smash. yeah, the down smash, like, it does look like the back end of it lingers for, like, a couple frames, which is why he kept, keeps doing it like that. So that's very good knowledge, very good awareness coming from him getting the uh, the two frame. Yep. No and that was a pretty convincing game too. So let's see how this one goes. Let's we'll see if Fruit can uh, pick it up a little bit. Yep. Game three here, going to Smashville, which uh, that was just Town City the last game, right? Yeah. Yeah. So have not seen Smashville yet. Um, yeah, it was Smashville, Town and City, and now back to Smashville. Okay, game one was. Uh, yeah, that's right. That they struck to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's where she won against Cloud. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see if Root is able to uh, find some magic that's had in game one here in game three. Um, although Bars looks like he's just getting rolling here. Yeah, I mean, he does come from New York. He does have a lot of Palu practice. So yeah. It's, I'm, no, I'm not surprised that he can play this well against a Palu. May not be of the levels like the Buzz or Jen or Frozen or Ray, but still, he definitely shows his knowledge in the matchup. Yeah, that's a he's good point. He's not overextending. He's not really like... He's not doing much that is really giving Fruit an, op an opportunity to punish him. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, Palutena, the home of, like, I think, like, five PR Palus, whether it be secondary or main. All right, this is going to be a little bit hard. He kind of, I think he's going to try and... S okay, there we go. Yeah. yeah, Fruit a little bit mistimed on that Nair. Uh, still that in a good position. And it was also the fact that, oh, my goodness. No, it's, he's, still, he's still living. Maybe Smash 4, that may have been some kind of weird death, but not in this game. Yeah. See Fruit pull out some of the teleport cancels, trying to you catch Bars slipping. You can definitely tell Fruit is playing a little bit more cautious. She de that game two was definitely like that definitely caught her by surprise. Yeah, much more defensive this game. You're absolutely right. Seeing a lot less moves being thrown out, yeah. a little bit more calculation in, in some of the areas she's landing on stage. And wow, that's challenging. Wow, I'm surprised he survived. Yeah, challenging that uh, electro shock from Pit. All and right, yeah. Fall in there and get the stop. He went as low as possible too. I honestly thought he was going to SD at some point. But Fruit capitalizing on it. Definitely hard to SD as, as Pit with the, with the three jumps and, and that up B. It's like you can basically yeah. be kissing the blast zone and still make it back. With the, yeah, with, his uh, up B is pretty good. It goes pretty far. Okay, I was going to say, oh, do like F smash or something. Looking for another one of those arrow kills. Not going to find oh, it. That's it's not going to kill, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to catch her, but not going to quite get the stock. I definitely would have killed the back end of uh, that down smash. Now, here's the part where you should not be getting too anti for the kill because Palu. Oh, never mind. That looked like some uh, questionable DI there. I don't, I don't know like where the angles of what like the pit's moves like send you at aside from like fair and air. So I can't really give the biggest insight on like how she should have been DIing or if that was even bad DI. It just looked like uh, she wasn't going to die, and then it looked like she just kind of died, which is why I said it. That's hack oh, I thought he was wrong. Trying to hold shield there, you gotta kinda of be a little bit more aware of that scenario. Yeah, seeing Fruit play much more patiently this set, definitely been paying dividends. Um, does Ooh, have bars yes, now yes, in a last definitely. stock situation here in game three. Alright, gonna flex some stuff. of those teleport cancels just a little bit. I'm gonna leave it some damage. All of a sudden, yeah, Bars find himself on the ropes. And now we're just, this is pretty much Palu's favorite game. You're gonna wanna be careful coming back. Yeah, he was scouting that uh, upbeat teleport. All right, so Fruit, no rush to do anything. Playing very patient, kind of a smart game oh, here. Is he dead? Okay. No, that was uh, almost a costly air dodge there. Bar still ready for that two-frame down smash. 
That's one problem I've noticed about the pits is that their back air is like, they have a uh, sour spot where it just sends them almost nowhere. So it's like, they have the sweet spot, which is kind of good. It's a very good, wow. Very good back air, but then once you get to sweet with the sour spot, it's like, wow. I think that's two set, or uh, I'm sorry, two game, or geez, two stocks with dash attack there. Yeah, okay. This one game. All right, so Bar's a little bit more uh, cautious there using Electroshock Arm to get back on stage after Fruit challenged it just a couple stocks ago. This is now, looking a little bit grim, okay. Yeah, kind of in dire straits here. We'll see what kind of percent he can tack on. But still has a ways to go before Palatine is going to be... One thing he does have, however, is um, a Randy side B. He does. He does for sure. And uh, Dark Pit has the one that kind of sends you outward more. Is where Yeah, that's the, he has yeah. the jank. Yep. Yeah, because I can totally catch you. Like, that could kill at, probably at minimum 60 at this percent. I mean, at this much rage he has. Don't DI away. Wow, I'm surprised I connected. I think he didn't DI it entirely. But regardless, we're taking it 2-1. Yeah. Kind of, what's it called? Picked it up a little bit after that game two. 